You may know that stars can get brighter and fainter over time, and not because the star is dying or maybe going supernova. Instead, stars can periodically change their brightness. We call those stars variable stars. One variable that you can see this month is the star Betelgeuse. It is the reddish star that makes up one of Orion the Hunter's shoulders. Normally, it is the brightest star in the constellation. You can even see it from a bright city. Betelgeuse is so large that if we placed it in our solar system where our sun is, its atmosphere would extend out to Jupiter's orbit. Let's do that here in our simulation. Just give it some time to get as big as it is in real life. It is what we call a red supergiant, and as its name implies, it's enormous and really red. Because it is a red supergiant, Betelgeuse may one day go supernova. These events are the most energetic explosions humans have ever seen. But don't worry, it is far enough away that it will not present a hazard to Earth. It will be bright enough, though, to see it in the daytime. When will that happen? Likely not anytime soon, but astronomers will have a great opportunity to study the explosion when it does. While we wait, we can watch Betelgeuse pulsate on an 11-month timescale, first determined in 1836 by John Herschel, who was the son of William Herschel, the astronomer who discovered planet Uranus. As it pulsates, it can change its brightness, becoming three times brighter. But it can also become quite dim, like people saw back in late 2019 and early 2020. To see it change its brightness in your sky, compare Betelgeuse to the star Rigel, also known as Beta Orionis, opposite Betelgeuse in the constellation. Or compare it to Bellatrix, the star that makes up Orion's other shoulder, also known as Gamma Orionis. When Betelgeuse recently dipped quite a bit in brightness, it looked as bright as Bellatrix, its faintest on record. With a little practice, you should be able to detect these changes, even from all the way here on Earth. To help you explore Betelgeuse, Orion, and the rest of your night sky, try using a star chart or an app on your phone, or you can use our special handout. This Variable Star episode is brought to you by Ball State University, the International Planetarium Society, and the American Association of Variable Star Observers, an international consortium of amateur and professional astronomers. For more information on variable stars and how to observe them, visit their website at aavso.org.